Hello everyone, welcome back to the Blue Team training series. This is an introductory guide to Blue Team operations. I just want to take a couple of seconds to thank our sponsor Linode for making this series possible. Just as a friendly reminder, you can register for part two of this series by clicking uh, the link in the description section. And Linode has kindly or very generously offered, uh, you know, our entire audience $100 in free Linode credit so that you can actually follow along with this series where applicable. And this will come into play in the next video when we'll be exploring the process of um, threat detection or performing threat detection with Wazoo. With that being said, in this video, we're going to be exploring intrusion detection with Snort. All right, so the objective here is to detect network intrusions with Snort. Now, if you're not familiar with Snort, let's get started by getting an understanding of what Snort is and how network uh, and how network intrusion detection systems work. However, before we do that, let's uh, you know let's get a high level overview of what we will be covering. So we're going to be starting off with uh, getting an idea of what intrusion detection systems are. We'll get an, an introduction to Snort. We'll take a look at how Snort works. Uh, where Snort can be placed within a network, which is very important. We'll then move on to the practical demonstration, where we'll take a look at how to install and configure Snort. Uh, we'll also be exploring the Snort configuration file and how to write custom Snort rules. Now, one thing that you need to take into consideration here is that we will be uh, using or we'll be focused on using Snort 2 as opposed to Snort 3, and I'll be explaining the differences between the versions in a couple of seconds. The prerequisites are the following. You need to have a familiarity with information security concepts. You need to have familiarity with Linux and various command line utilities. You need to have a good understanding of the OSI model and the layers that make up the model because we will be dealing with uh, you know, various types of protocols and multiple layers of the OSI model. You also need a functional knowledge of TCP IP and UDP and familiarity with HTTP and web technologies. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's get an understanding as to what intrusion detection systems are and uh, what they're used for. An intrusion detection system, also known as an IDS, um, you know, is a system that allows you to actively discover threats, attacks, or intrusions on a network uh, or you know, uh, intrusions on a host or the services that are running within a network. Now, there are two types of IDS solutions based on the placement. Firstly, we have a host-based IDS, also known as an HIDS. This is typically set up on an individual host on a network, and a network IDS, also known as an NIDS, is placed within a network to monitor the traffic to and from all hosts on a network. So an HIDS is uh, you know, just set up to monitor the traffic for one particular host system, whereas an NIDS, which is what SNOT is, is placed within a network depending on your requirements to monitor the traffic to and from all hosts within that network. So an IDS system or an, or an IDS is a system or host that is planted within, net, within a network to capture traffic and identify malicious activity based on predefined rules, after which the malicious activity is logged and a notification is sent to the relevant parties informing them of an intrusion. Now, the actual, uh, you know, the actual uh, types of rules you can write will allow you to determine or to essentially specify what you want done for, uh, you know, for specific types of network activity or for a specific packet. So you can, uh, you can either choose to log that uh, particular packet or you can uh, enable logging globally and, uh, you know, display the actual alerts on the terminal. Uh, therefore informing individuals or the relevant parties that, you know, there is an intrusion. And uh, one of the great things that you can do is uh, you can actually configure Snort uh, to essentially output or to uh, essentially log all malicious uh, activity into JSON format that can then be uh, integrated with Splunk. And of course, we'll be covering Splunk and how to do that. So we are primarily going to be focused on how to use Snort to uh, essentially, or how to set up an intrusion detection system with Snort on our local network, right? Now, one thing that you might have noticed is that intrusion detection systems are typically coupled with the functionality to also perform intrusion prevention. 
whereby specific rules can be set to drop packets that are malicious or intrusive. So why am I saying this? Well, we are focused on intrusion detection, whereby we're simply using Snort to monitor the network and the traffic within that network to identify threats or intrusions. We're not really focused on doing anything about it. So we're not going to be, uh, you know, taking a look at how to block or how to drop packets, even though we will be covering it. Our primary objective is to actually, uh, you know, uh, essentially identify, uh, you know, these intrusions that are occurring on a network. I just want to take a couple of moments to thank our Patreons. Thank you, Michael Hubbard, Dustin Umpress, Jerry Speds, Doozy, Sid Saab, Ryan Carr, Shamir Douglas, Jojo Bibi, Balangos, Kushkev, RS, Nino Buikov, and David Bricker. You guys are really awesome. Thank you very much for supporting us. And you guys make these types of videos possible. So we really appreciate it and we look forward to producing even more high quality content.